as shown in figure a point charge q is placed at the center of a conducting spherical shell of inner radius a so here we have this conducting spherical shell whose inner radius is a and outer radius is b the electric field due to charge q in three different region 1 2 and 3 given by so here the charge q is placed inside this shell number 1 right so now if i uh, use gauss law right in that case the charge enclosed by this inner shell the charge enclosed by this inner shell is q then the flux is flux is equals to q by epsilon naught now electric field now electric flux is another equation flux equals to e into a right it means here flux is not equals to flux is not equals to zero means e is also not equals to zero so for the region number one the electric field is also not zero for the region number one electric field is not equals to zero so we have two options option number c and option number b right now for region number two means inside this uh, shell okay here conducting shell is given right here it is given conducting spherical shell so this this is a conducting shell right and this part is inner part of the shell this is air and this is also air okay but this is part right which is inside this uh, metal now what will happen here right it's a very interesting case now what will happen here now this shell uh, wait for this shell now this charge here we have charge q let us assume it's a positive charge so this positive charge will attract electron and what will happen here this negative charge will generate here on the surface of the sphere right inner part right so now this inner part now uh, what will happen now if i draw another gaussian surface here let us assume this is my gaussian surface now in this gaussian surface the net charge enclosed is zero why it is zero the net charge enclosed is zero because see the this charge is positive this charge is positive and equal negative charge is generated on the surface so the net charge enclosed by this gaussian surface is zero so as the net charge enclosed is zero then the net flux is q enclosed by epsilon naught so net enclosed charge is zero so flux is zero so electric field equals to flux sorry flux equals to e into a so here flux is zero area is not zero so electric field will be zero so electric field is zero so in the middle part the electric field is zero right now if we talk about the outer part okay if i draw a gaussian surface for this region okay for this outer region if i draw a gaussian surface then if i want electric flux at this point let us assume i want electric field at this point then in that case what is uh, the charge enclosed here now what will happen this positive charge will induce negative charge here on the surface of this inner shell right and this negative charge will induce positive charge on the outer surface so what will happen here the net charge enclosed the net charge enclosed in this system is see this is minus q and here it is plus q and here it is plus q so the net charge enclosed by the system in inner shell it is plus q in the surface of the inner shell in the surface of the inner shell is minus q and on the surface of the outer shell is plus q so this will two will get get cancelled so the net charge encloses q it means some charge is here which produce electric field here right so the electric field in the outer region is not zero hence the correct option is b